Okay, today I'm going to be shining the world's brightest flashlight on the world's brightest paint. So this paint is called Lit. It's nicknamed the world's glowiest glow. So in some previous videos, I've used my super mega bright flashlight before. I used it before to shine on the world's blackest black paint. And then I also showed you what happens when you try to magnify this super bright flashlight. Pretty cool video. But now I wanna show you what happens when you shine a 32,000 lumen flashlight on the world's brightest paint called the glowiest glow. So this is the world's brightest glow in the dark pigment. And it's unlike any other glow in the dark thing I've ever seen before, it's really cool. So this paint pigment really is the brightest pigment I've ever seen before. So it stays bright for around 12 hours, which is amazing. If you've ever had any other glow in the dark stuff, it doesn't stay lit for very long. Like I've had some glow in the dark stars that I put on my ceiling when I was a kid, and they stay charged for like five minutes and then go out. <laughs> but the coolest thing ever about this paint, it's the only paint I know of or have ever heard of that can turn heat into visible light. So you can charge this with light or you can charge it with just heat and it turns the heat into visible light. So before we light it up, let's talk about how a pigment like this works. So glow in the dark substances are pretty amazing if you think about it. Basically, you shine light on it, it saves that light for a while and then it gives it off later. But how does something save light inside of it? So what happens in normal substances is light comes in, it strikes the surface, it gets absorbed for a short amount of time in the nanosecond range and then it re-emits the light. And so basically every object is a glow-in-the-dark object for about 10 nanoseconds. But for this, instead of 12 nanoseconds that it holds on to the light, it holds on to it for about 12 hours, which is quite amazing. So what happens is for glow-in-the-dark substances like this, light comes in and it strikes the atoms and when it strikes the atoms, it knocks an electron to a higher energy level. But the problem is the way it knocks it up to that high energy level, it can't just come back down because normally it can come back down and re-emit the light. But what happens is it knocks it into an energy level where in order to come back down, it would have to enter a forbidden state. So a forbidden state is something in quantum mechanics that not necessarily can't happen, but has a very, very low chance of happening. And so that's what's so cool about glow-in-the-dark things, is the light comes in and knocks it up to a higher energy state, but in order to fall back down, it has to go through a forbidden state, which is very unlikely to happen. And because it's so unlikely to happen, it means the electron can stay excited for longer. But because there's so many atoms in here on the order of 10 to the 26 atoms, because there's so many chances for it to happen, you'll continually see light be emitted from a glow-in-the-dark object. But eventually, if you wait long enough, all the electrons will come back down to their ground state and it won't be glowing anymore. But the coolest thing about this is it doesn't only take visible light to get the electrons to that higher energy level, but you can also use heat. So basically, you can use heat to create light just with this pigment. So when something holds on to light for a little bit before releasing it, it's called phosphorescence. Okay, now let's go ahead and test the world's brightest flashlight, 32,000 lumens, with the world's glowiest glow, or the brightest paint. Okay, so I painted it on here, so let's see how bright it actually gets. I'm gonna shine 32,000 lumens on it, and then turn it off, and let's see how bright the paint is. You can see it's already glowing pretty bright with just the lights from the garage, but now let's hit it with 32,000 lumens and see what it looks like. Okay, three, two, one, go. Holy cow, that is bright. So you're probably only seeing just a very bright flash of white. <laughs> okay, let's turn it off and see what it looks like. Whoa. It's like a flashlight. Look at that. Look, you can totally see from it. It's like a flashlight in the dark. See it shining on the wall? Holy cow, that's so cool. It's really like a flashlight. This could guide my way in the dark. Look how cool that is. <laughs> This definitely is the glowiest glow, especially with a 32,000 lumen flashlight. Okay, 32,000 lumens. Three, two, one. Holy cow. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's turn off the flashlight and see how bright it is. Holy cow. Look at that. It's like a light behind it. Look at how bright that is. This is with the lights on, this is how bright it is. Crazy. So this is so cool. Even just in ambient lighting, it glows. This is my new favorite paint to play with. Okay, now let's see if we can get this to glow brighter just from heat. So I'm just gonna use a hair dryer on it. So I'm gonna block half of it here. Let's heat it up and see what happens. Whoa, I can already see it glowing brighter. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Okay, so now let's see if we can get it to glow just from the heat of my hand. So what's really cool is this means that you could continually have glow in the dark if you just stuck this on your wall and kind of had a little heater behind it. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put a link in my description to where I got my flashlight if you want to take a look. And I'll also put a link where I got that paint. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to get to them. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.